Hi guys, fan cams first on is uh, Lou one one at Millwall. I mean, it weren't a great watch, worried them, but I think we should really come away with point happier side. Um, and I don't know what to make of it, Luke. Uh, very frustrating at times to watch that. Yeah, it was. Um, just in terms of, again, getting into good positions with the ball and not making most of it, picking the wrong option time and time again, overcomplicating things. Yeah. When we were letting ball do the work, when James and Kane were on together, it seemed to flow better. But yeah. We just seem to when we went forward, we had plenty, even in the second half, we had times on counter attack that we just seemed to choose wrong option, didn't have enough urgency at, at times. Yeah, and it just seemed that we were quite happy to take a point. Um, Palmer did okay when he came on. Um, I felt he had a bit of urgency to his game. I felt we slow out when we go forward. We so we too yeah. slow when we break away. Please do We've got quick lads in team, so I don't get it. This is what no. we've got. We've got a lot of pace inside, but we seem to slow down when we've got the ball. Yeah. Um, first, let's break it down. Then first half, I thought we, we, we should, the structure was really good. I felt we dealt with their threats quite well. Um, I felt we frustrated them. We, we stopped them playing out. We, we cut them up to long balls. And for me, going up, going up, I think it was a perfect away performance. You know, a really good ball by Mowat, backing mm. himself. Um it just sat up nicely for him, a great finish. But then, like I said, time and time again, you need to switch on once you score. Yeah. That's the, you know, how, how many times have I said this? It's, it's, it feels like I may as well just say, it, you know, you may as well play Bristol City video from last week and say the same thing. Mm. It's poor, I mean, it's poor, isn't it, really? When you go 1 0 up and then, like, immediately conceding, especially like we, we took lead, best time to take lead just before half time and then still manage. To, to go in, yeah, completely avoidable goal as well. Luke. Why yeah. is Anderson just not? If he uses his right, it's like it's it were harder for him to to give them a corner than anything else, and he's managed yeah. to do that. I told you that he, I told you he'd do something silly, mm. over day in preview with Ed Book post or something, and his head butted it in his head. But I, I can't, I couldn't believe how he gave away a corner. But then again, right, we're like, right, and I just had a feeling that they were going to get something and. He's rather, you know, he is six foot five. Their defenders, so he's clearly got an height advantage. But we didn't, we didn't affect him at all. He didn't jump. Nobody jumped, did they? There were three men round him, and all. I even felt Walton should have done a little bit better. Mm. The goal. I thought, well, I mean, I think Walton's but definitely. Then his, but then he made up for it in the second half with yeah. seven saves. Mm. So it's a case of, you know, I could, but that situation again goes down to game management, and it's the third game in a row now that we've conceded a goal around half time, either other side. Yeah. So now, that's not a technical thing, it's a mental thing. Mm. The, the players are probably half expecting subconsciously that we're going to concede, and so what happens most of the time, you, you do concede. Mm. Um, I, I mean, but it, it was a shit goal. It was just a sh it were, Honestly, I could, not, I could not believe what I was watching. It just yeah. again, like we said last week against Bristol, just a 30-second moment of stupidity. Mm. Yeah, it was a bad goal to concede, Luke. I mean, but then that second half, I mean, I were, I were, I were here thinking we were going to concede within five minutes of that second half. We didn't like, but I think we weren't in that second half really at all. We didn't play any football. No, I think, well, we're going to good areas, but I'm thinking all the chances we're going to get a goal was the counter-attack. I think Woodrow not starting, obviously pulling up, did affect us. Um, because Chaplin and Freezer are similar players in different ways, because... You know they'll run for they'll run and they'll press and they'll put your they'll put the defence under pressure. But for me, I think you need to have a bit of variety when you're playing the wall. You can't just go all. They're not they're not way. technically brilliant players, are they? They're not. I, I don't I don't think anyway. I think I think I think we would just miss Woodrow just due to yeah. his quality. Yeah. And I think um, I hope he comes back for Tuesday. And this just really reiterates the fact that we do need another striker and a free agent deal. Well, looking at it, Luke, I'd say we maybe need two. We, we would draw being out. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I don't think yeah. one. Well, I don't, I don't know. We need to. I don't. I don't it, they were both hamstring injuries, so they're clearly not warmed up properly, and they've, they've pulled it. Well, Jordan Williams for me wouldn't have been starting anyway today. Um, no, I mean, I mean, the only thing is, I'm thinking for long term. I, I don't want him in. You know, it's not nice mm. for a player to be injured. And I felt, I felt, I felt Adore should have started anyway. Just yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back. I don't think Jordan Williams should have started. 
just for the pure basis that if Solbag was fit, then he comes in for Williams. And mm. I think Adore and Britain both deserve to start. Again, I was frustrated with Adore at times because he had plenty of ball and just didn't have that end product. Yeah, that, um, that's his problem at the minute. That's his problem as end product. But uh, I think we'd have took, we, we obviously, we said it previously, we'd have took point like before, but it's just you want to see a bit of, bit of urgency oops. in us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah and we, we, we've not really seen any of that. A bit in first think, half, but second we, half. We were a bit in a batting, but it were kind of, I think, they were confusing me because there were times we were going forward and there were times we were sitting back slowing the game down. So I, I did yeah. think, I think when James were on pitch, there were that calming influence. And I think as soon as he came off, Millwall came into the game after that. Mm. We seemed to open up in midfield. I mean, Thomas came on, did absolutely nothing whatsoever. Oh, his touch, I mean, his I'm, touch I'm when he was running forward. Yeah, with... for corner. From there, I, I'm not going to speak about Thomas because I'll, you know, I'll get stick for what I'll say about him. So, I'm not going to mention him. Um, I think Palmer did okay when he came on. Kane, for me, he should have started instead yeah. of Simoes. Yeah. He's going to start Tuesday. I mean, he didn't do much when he came on, but for me, you can't just start players because they score a game before. That's my opinion. You look mm. at the, it's a different, it's a different scenario. You're set up differently. So I, I didn't mind the starting lineup. I just didn't think that we were ever going to win the game. I just didn't mm. think we were ever going to win the game. But again, we've been in front look and we've, you know, we've, we've conceded, but then it's second half, no wall at better side, if I'm being honest. I yeah. thought, um, they created more, Wallace got into the game more, Walton's made three, three really good saves from close range to keep us in it. Um, we've had to defend well at times. So apart from that little error, defensively, we've been fine. We're again going forward. We just seem to lack that urgency and that final mm. pass. We're trying to overdo everything every, every single time. We're just trying yeah. to like, we're dawdling on it or we're panicking. There doesn't seem to be a, an in-between. Mm. Um, so hopefully this new lad can come in and influence us and, you know, good good, good time to start on Tuesday. Like I said, there are some good things to take from it. Yeah. Because I think in first half, we've seen, we, we, we were structured well up until their goal. Uh, and then in the second half, even defensively, we looked okay, but they caused us more problems than we did in that second half, especially. So on that basis, I'll, I'm, I'm taking a point all day long because... We weren't at races of fully 100% there today, mm. um, but now we've got now we've got coaching. Now we need to get focusing on getting a striker in. Oh, uh, it, it's clear man. to see. It's clear to see. Yeah, because a target man today would have been the ideal scenario. Exactly. And, then, and even though I felt Freezer had a decent game when he were involved in it, because I felt he he did some nice little layup balls and he got some good free kicks in certain places. And he does he does try. Yeah, and he does run. He does run and run and run. For me, he's not an out-and-out -out striker. Um, and you could see when Millwall brought Zora on in second half, the, the change that that had. You know, I think his first touch nearly scored with Edda. Mm. So, again, a big lad on it is always a threat for an opposition defence. But, you know, two difficult places to go to, Millwall and Stoke. I know it's not ideal. I'm going to obviously give this new fella a chance. He had a really good record where he has been before. Yeah. And I hope he's seen enough to, to come in. Um, I just think we missed that pace on the ball. I think that was the yeah, way to get round the wall. We seem to get sucked into their game a little bit at times in middle at park. Yeah, we 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 never looked like when we went forward we were ever going to do all we it, and and that's becoming a, a set thing pieces, now. Set yeah. pieces, believe it or not, were my only thinking. I'm just, I'm just hoping with Kane and James on pitch that was our only up a bit of quality, mm. and we we, we nick a header here and there from the corner or a free kick something like that. That was my only realistic thought. How we're going to get a goal today. Um, second second half but you know I'd have taken a point because Millwall's a difficult place to go to and they've had a good start to the season and they're, they're, a, they're a solid team they're an hard team to play against that you know they are an hard unit to play against fair play to them but from our perspective I just felt that it were a period of I just think I just think we were content to take a point today that's my opinion I felt it we just didn't go through gears when we needed to. And we were, there was just something missing, just that snap there. Yeah, yeah, you could see it were missing from the beginning. So, well, uh, hopefully, we'll hopefully back for Tuesday. we need him back, uh, mate. We need him back and we need that. We need another striker signed, free agent. 100%. There's, there's no waiting around now. I heard Dane do an interview with Radio Sheffield saying they've been talking to some lads, but now we need to be making offers and looking at best option for us because, you know, November to January is, you know, Obviously, we're back end of next week. It's a long two months. There's a lot of games played in that space yeah, there of is. time. 
Mm. And if he can get if he can get a if he can get a striker to come in and help Woodrow out for me, Chaplin shouldn't be up front anyway. I like him. I prefer him up left coming inside. Mm. Um, I don't. I think he's lost up front at times against certain oppositions. But for me, like you said, look, there's a lot of games to be played in that space of time. If we can get a lad in now, just to strengthen squad out, because I think that's, yeah. That 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 that's, that's it. That's it. it. Games games coming up, and and obviously, if if Woodrow, he's a star striker. You look at the strikers below him; they're all could see more or less. When, yeah, yeah. When you, knew, you could see impact. As soon as we knew that Woodrow were injured, the fear among the fans that he weren't playing. Yeah, and that, um, that, that yeah, you should always have that that backup striker, or not necessarily a backup striker, somebody who's a bit different. To come in. Yeah. Somebody, somebody who's different, who can give you a different, yeah. you know, mindset yeah. going into a game. And all sub strikers, you know, Chaplin's, Freezer, Schmidt, you know, they're, they're all, scorers, they're, they're they? all so well. I, I'm the not saying they're not, they're not goal not scorers. scorers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, we, I said it in stream. Your favourite quote: "God loves a try." They said it like they were. They were saying Chaplin had a really good game, and I was like, "Well, he's put. What's he done apart from put his centre back and work he's work working. hard? Yeah, you he's can't knock his work, fantastic. mate. Yeah." Yeah, but his quality were lacking. That's what you know. That you know. That's what needed to be said. His work mm. rate was there, and I, and I do like Chaplin for that. And I, you know, I do like him as a player at times. Yeah. But other times as well, he was choosing wrong options mm. every single time. So on that aspect, that needed to be pulled up. But going back to the strike situation, Lou Woodrow needs needs somebody to. We need somebody to come in. For me, you need you always need your top two main strikers, and then you can work around it. Yeah. If you've got other options, um, but we need somebody in. Back in the next week, at least, mm. just for next weekend's game, you know, QPR might be too soon, but at least just be asking people now and getting people down on trial for a week and seeing what new coach thinks of them. Yeah. Um, well, um... second point, look, because you know, like we said, we weren't hundred percent today. I just felt that we were a bit off it at times, um, and it's a tough place to go to. But hopefully, some of it, hopefully, coach has seen enough to build on it, and we can, you know, QPR's in another tough game. They've had another decent start. Um, but I think we might get something against QPR because they like to play football and I think that might that might suit us better. Mm, well, I, I should hope so, mate, because that first win needs to come. You know what I mean? There's only yeah, us and Wickham yeah. now. Um, yeah. And I, th I don't know if Wickham lost, actually, later on at Norwich. Uh, it was 1-1 yeah. for we need a, a while. Like, we, like we've said, we need a win just to get us underway. But we've been in three winning positions in the last three games, haven't we? That could have been nine it. points. That could. Have, I, would just, I was going to say that to you, yeah. Yeah, they've lost Wickham, yeah, 90, 91st minute at yeah. Norwich. But... Bless them. Uh, we'll keep but, going. We'll keep trying. It's going to come. I think so at times, I think we, we, you do end up trying too hard because you want that win that badly. Yeah. We'll just keep doing what we're good at. Um, hopefully, if Woodrow's fit, then get him back in Tuesday. I'd bring Chaplin out. Yeah. And um, I'd start Kane into the Simoes because I thought Simoes were a little bit quiet today. Um, and then I'd start James again. I'd start Moe. I want to see them three start at me. Yeah, I see what they're through. like. Yeah. Yeah, get from start from off. Get get Kane behind striker. He was again too deep for me today. Mm. Couldn't influence game enough. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. points better than no, mate. We move on. Move yeah. to Tuesday. That's it, mate. That's it. Well, uh, pleasure to have you on, Luke, and uh, I'll speak to you during, uh, before, and after uh, the game on uh, Tuesday against QPR. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching the interview, and uh, thanks to Luke for coming on. And we'll see you in the next one. You Reds.